Hello guys, today I want to quickly present you a new feature that was released this week in new Laravel 8.80, which is probably the last release before Laravel 9, the last minor release except for future fixes in Laravel 8 version, but still it has new features and even Taylor tweeted in a separate tweet that he feels that Laravel 9 is more like a minor maintenance release because Laravel 8 kept getting new features both from Taylor and from the community. So speaking of the community, Luke Downing, which is actually his second appearance in a week on this channel. Earlier this week, I reviewed his pull request to Laravel IO project. So Luke is really on fire with new stuff and he submitted a feature into Laravel framework and it was merged and released this week. You can define route controller instead of repeating controller in all the routes within that group. Let's take a look at my example. So imagine you have a route group with the same controller. It's not a resource controller, so it's not a CRUD, but some actions related to the same controller. Like for example, in my case, changing the password and profile stuff. So it's grouped under one controller change password. And what is happening within the group? So you define route group with maybe potentially more parameters, and then you repeat the same controller with different methods within that group. So that pull request new feature in Laravel 8.80 allows you to do this controller define the controller for all the group you do change password controller class like this and then you don't need to specify the controller in each route so it's not even an array here and then this is the syntax and this is the page profile password refresh it still works in fact both work both this one and these ones. So this is not a breaking feature, it's just another ability of defining controller per group. So let's finish it off for all of the route group and let's see how shorter it is. So controller classes are pretty long strings usually and the route group becomes much shorter, like this. Again, let's refresh if nothing broke. Yep, it's all good. So I think that is a wonderful pull request by Luke. I've encountered that situation many times in my projects, but I just didn't think it was a big problem until I see before and after now. So I will totally use it in both current Laravel 8 version, Laravel 9 and beyond. What do you think about this change? Shoot in the comments below. And also, if you want to follow the news around Laravel, you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter, which I send every Thursday with all of the news, with all my new videos, everything I gather from the community within that week. So get on the list as 6,000 subscribers did and see you guys in other videos.